you very much, Mr Deputy Speaker. A budget returning to surplus, personal income tax cuts, record jobs growth, stronger support for small business, record investment in schools and health services, record investment in infrastructure, and of course, the big news, the budget is returning to black, reversing the economic destruction we saw from Labor over so many years. Mr Deputy Speaker, this is an economic plan underpinned by our government's determination to build a stronger economy in stark contrast to Labor's plan, a plan to weaken our economy and to hit Australians with more than $200 billion in taxes, taxes on housing, taxes on electricity, on investment and retirees on older Australians. Mr Deputy Speaker, the 2019-20 budget is back in the black with a budget surplus of $7.1 billion. There are tax cuts for hard working Australians, another $158 billion in income tax relief. This means immediate tax relief of up to $2,160 for a dual income couple to ease cost of living pressures. We're backing small business with an instant asset write-off increase to $30,000, increasing the threshold up to $50 million for businesses turning over up to $50 million. Record health spending of $81 billion in this next financial year. And that means, Mr Deputy Speaker, that we're able to deliver very important investments, including in the Corangamite electorate, a new paediatric emergency department in Geelong, $50 million for a new women's and children's hospital facility, a new health and wellbeing hub for Ocean Grove on the Ballerine Peninsula, including a new headspace. There is a record $292 billion for schools over 10 years, record infrastructure. That means $2.7 billion in this budget, Mr Deputy Speaker, for Geelong Fast Rail, cutting travel times to Melbourne to 32 minutes, and also 700, and that includes $700 million more to duplicate the rail line between Geelong and Warren Ponds, including the upgrade of stations at Marshall, Warren Ponds and South Geelong. This is absolutely game-changing investment for our region in contrast over four years to state labour, Mr Deputy Speaker, which committed only $10 million to the Geelong rail duplication. And we now have seen uh, the dissension on the, from those opposite. In a flurry, the member for McMahon says, yes, no problems, we'll find the $2 billion. And then, of course, we see from the Leader of the Opposition there is no commitment to fast rail between Geelong and Melbourne. And what's even worse than that, Mr Deputy Speaker, there is no commitment to fixing the regional rail link, which is what this is all about. Because under Labor, Labor built the regional rail link, designed and planned it. Our services now run slower than they did many years ago. And what's also regrettable is that we are being treated as second-class citizens. Labor's had a long time to fix the, fix the regional rail link. And our investment in fast rail means an upgraded track between Geelong and Wyndham Vale, means a second lot of dual tracks between Wyndham Vale and Sunshine, and then under the Melbourne Airport rail link, the next section has been funded under that program between Sunshine and uh, Southern Cross Station. So we have seen an appalling failure from the Labor Party to address these re really significant regional rail infrastructure issues uh, in our region and across Victoria. And if you have a look at the uh, regional rail revival program, $1.75 billion and all but $150 million is coming from the Commonwealth. So, uh, as I say, Mr Deputy Speaker, this is a budget which delivers for regional Victorians, whether it's major roads, whether it's major rail, whether it's health, whether it's schools and, of course, whether it's growing jobs. And, Mr Deputy Speaker, we are seeing a lowering of the unemployment rate in our region and across Australia, underpinned by our determination to build a strong economy. And you need a strong budget to build a strong economy. And I'm incredibly proud, Mr Deputy Speaker, that that's what we have delivered. And Australians are sick of all the politicking and the rubbish. They want to see action. And in this budget, they have seen a government which is turning this nation's finances around, which is delivering record jobs growth, responsible economic management for all Australians. Thank you very much, Mr Deputy right. Speaker.